As Kilauea volcano builds to its next eruptive episode at the summit, officials have issued a warning about a potential hazard on an inactive lava flow field miles away on the coast of Puna. This week, the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources shared this cell phone video, pointing out a large crack in the Kapoho lava delta. They believe it's a sign that part of the land mass could soon collapse into the ocean. Visitors to these coastal lava lands are being urged to use extreme caution. In the cell phone video, the ocean can be seen below through the growing crack. The delta was formed in 2018 during the Kilauea Lower East Rift Zone eruption. Voluminous lava flows buried the town of Kapoho and extended new land of molten rock out into the bay. The dangers of such a collapse are well documented. This time lapse shows a lava delta on the coast of Puna crumbling away back in 2005. It took five hours for 34 acres to fall into the sea. This video from the National Park Service shows a collapse during an active lava ocean entry in 2016. A USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientist describes the event shortly after it happened. Uh, these lava deltas are a phenomenon that HVO scientists and others have observed repeatedly during the course of this 34-year East Rift Zone eruption. And again, this is where lava reaches the ocean, goes over the sea cliff and basically builds out a bench, or a better word for that is a delta of new land moving into the sea. Now the topography of the submarine environment here off the south coast of Kilauea is very steep. It's not a long, gentle shelf. It goes down very deep, very steeply. And so one, as you can imagine, as material hits the ocean, much of it fragments and, and, and breaks apart during that rather violent interaction of cold water and hot lava. And so mixed in with the new lava extending out here is a, is a very rubble-rich material that forms the base of a more solid lava flow that extends out. So in your mind's eye, what you'll see is a, is a, uh, a shelf of rather solid-looking lava, but it's built on a base of rubble, unstable rubble, that you can imagine doesn't hold up well as water, underwater, is, is interacting and, and uh, mixing with that. That rubble layer beneath this shelf can actually get eroded away by the wave action, and then the shelf basically collapses into the sea. And that, those collapses happen very suddenly, and uh, of course, if you're standing anywhere on this, you're, you're likely to, to lose your life. Um, but, but the thing about this event, which is very sobering, is that it began in the early afternoon. It occurred over a couple of hours into the evening. Um, most of that 26, 25, 26 acres or 25 football fields fell into the sea. And uh, then later in the evening, in, uh, later in the afternoon and evening, additional land adjacent to the delta, part of the old sea cliff, started sliding into the sea as well. There was, a, in, the, in terms of the map, a very small chunk of the public viewing area that was outside the rope line also fell away. So here's the map of what happened, and I'm sorry if this is a little tricky to see, um, but this shaded line here shows that 25, 26 acre lava delta that had formed uh, from July to December from lava entering the sea. And uh, this blue line here was the Park Service safety rope line, so folks were kept outside. The eventual collapse took a big bite out of the old sea cliff here, and that red arcuate area was what collapsed away sometime late on the evening of New Year's Eve, and you can see just a corner of the rope line got bitten away. Uh, it was very fortunate that there were no visitors here at the time, and I know park rangers that afternoon had, a couple of times at least, had to go get people to come back on this side of the rope line. So uh, again, a very sober reminder of, of what could have happened.